Hey guys, iPhone Support Fast here. Today we're going to be looking at how you can track your iPhone uh, live using GPS Tracker. Um, this is nice because, uh, let's say uh, you're trying to track your phone going down the road, uh, you can just hop on the internet and you can uh, track uh, the footprint of your phone live as it's going down the road. It's actually pretty accurate too. Now some problems um, some people are having is that they couldn't track it without having the application open. Now I'm going to solve that problem um, by using something called Backgrounder. If you don't uh, have Backgrounder already, you're going to need to get that, which you can find on my website uh, on the right, or you can go to web.me.com uh, slash iPhone support fast, or you can also uh, find it on the right side of your screen on my uh, YouTube description. Uh, something that or some requirements you need to have is you need to have backgrounder on there and you also need to have your phone jailbroken which is also on my site um, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna boot up your phone um, and you're gonna have this screen and you're gonna unlock it uh, and go to the App Store now what we're gonna do in the App Store is we're actually gonna download um, GPS trackers so just go down to the search at the bottom the top type in GPS tracker and it should be the first one up there now when you click on it it's gonna come up and it's gonna be this first one right here GPS tracker and then you're just gonna install it so if we go out of here and we go to our last screen we have GPS tracker right here now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna open up GPS tracker it's gonna say hi you wanna go to www.instamapper.com slash iPhone pull it up it should look like this now you're gonna have um, on here it's gonna have a step-by-step -step how to which you can follow that um, or you can just go up here to sign up what you're gonna do is once you sign up then you just type in your username password um, and a valid email address and then you're gonna go to I agree create my account um, and then once you do that so let's make one here real quick. So we're gonna call it, um, let's call it iPhone Tracker, iPhone Tracker Help. Type in a password. No at no.com is what we're gonna use for a fake name. Go to create my account. And then it's gonna say check your email account and so once you do, you're going to get a screen like this. So if we do, so if we sign in, we're going to go to devices and we're going to go add a new device. You put in a label for it, so we'll put in iPhone test, press add. It's gonna give you the device key, and you just put that in where it asks for the device key. So you press continue. Uh, it's gonna give you a device key on the internet, and then you type in um, your device key here. You can choose when it sends out uh, your signal at most, um, and then the buffer size, um, and then if you want a metric system in uh, nautical. And then the accuracy, I would just leave it 600 feet. And then you press save. Um, now, to have it run in the background, so you don't have to have the application open while you're tracking it. So what you're going to do with background is you're just going to hold down the home button. And it's going to say backgrounding enabled. So what you're going to do then is you're going to open it. And then when you press the home key, if you hold down the home key, it'll show GPS trackers still running. That's good now because now you can track your phone um, and you don't have to have the application actually running while you're tracking the phone. So you can throw your phone in um, somebody's car and watch it go down the road uh, and they won't even know you're tracking them, which is really nice. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, or stop by our site at web.me.com slash iPhone support fast. Uh, we'd love to help you out.